Well, we are a full service diesel shop, but we also uh, we also do vegetable oil conversions and winter biodiesel conversions that uh, allow you to run either 100% waste vegetable oil or 100% biodiesel uh, in winter temperatures. So you can run your car, your diesel engine car, on vegetable oil? Definitely. And you can run it year round? Yes, even in Michigan. We build we leave your diesel fuel system alone, the stock factory diesel system, and then we add a separate system and we go from the basically the injection pump back to the tank with all new components that are all heated and custom designed for, for vegetable oil. How, what's the benefits to the environment for doing this? Well, you've got a totally local and reused fuel source. Uh, as long as you're not buying virgin feedstock and having it trucked in, um, it, it, you're essentially taking a waste product that would normally be reused in some other fashion and, and using it as a fuel. So when I, when I, if I did this conversion on, say, my diesel pickup truck, where would I go get my fuel at? Well, you'd want to develop relationships with uh, a local restaurant um, or someone like myself that already has the relationships and is, is picking up fuel weekly, cleaning it, dewatering it, and and turning it uh, back to the customer as fuel. So I could I feasibly go down to my Taco Bell and if they were willing to give me their used vegetable oil? You I could... would need to stick to um, mom and pop locally owned restaurants. Generally the, the big chains uh, already have some kind of uh, agreement with a national rendering company. It's difficult to get through to them. Um, but if you have an in with a franchise owner, uh, you know, it's always worth a shot. How much money do you think people can save by doing this if they drive regularly on diesel fuel and then switch to vegetable oil or uh, well, biodiesel? Well, you're always going to be using a little bit of diesel fuel. Um, we start up our engines on diesel fuel, run them, and then we um, and then we shut them down on diesel fuel. So your diesel cost never goes away; it's just drastically reduced. Um, the turnaround time, uh, basically your return on investment for one of our fuel systems is dependent on what you're paying for your vegetable oil, if anything, mm -hmm. what you would normally be paying for diesel fuel, and, and the amount of money that you put into your conversion. Uh, if, if you do your own conversion with minimal, minimal cost and you find your own oil and filter your own oil, then your only cost is time. Um, if you're busy and you need uh, a service like what we provide, uh, you're looking at $1.75 a gallon for clean vegetable oil. So you're going to save um, a, a decent amount of money off the price of pump diesel, and you'll be putting a return on your investment immediately. Okay, uh, now you have a, a truck here, right? We do. What is this? Uh, this is a 1995 Isuzu NPR, uh -huh. and uh, it has about 300,000 miles on it about 50 of which were on vegetable oil. Uh, it's been all over the country and back. Um, it has a very uh, um, it has a very moderately priced for a very moderately uh, an economy minded um, uh, owner. Uh, it, it, the system is very simple. Um, it, it features a vegetable oil tank. On this side it has a special filter which here come on around this way. Okay. The diesel fuel tank is on this side. Awesome. And then if you come around here, we can show you the rest of it. Okay. This is a this is a vegetable oil filter. Uh, it's designed for biodiesel and vegetable oil by Davco Corporation. They're based in Saline, Michigan, uh -huh. and they're an OEM supplier for some major trucking. Um, uh, truck building companies like Freightliner, um, but you can buy their stuff aftermarket and install it yourself or, or have us install it. Um, it's coolant heated. Um, there's also a heat exchanger down hidden down here. It's also coolant heated. Um, we have an inline fuel filter uh, that is cleanable to catch any uh, large particulate. It's basically a safety measure. And then we have two valves right here. One selects diesel and um, vet or vegetable oil, and the other controls the destination of the return fuel. 
from the pump. Um, and then in, in cab, it's important to remember that this system was designed with a very economy-minded client in mind. They did not have any extra money to spend on bells and whistles. Mm -hmm. So we did our best to oblige them. Yeah. Um, we've got a, a selector button here. Uh, vegetable oil on once your engine comes up to temperature. Purge to, to get the um, vegetable oil out of your fuel system. And then we just have a general diesel. That would be totally stock. And there's a couple gauges in there. If you want to take a look, one shows fuel pressure and the other shows the fuel levels for the vegetable tank. What do you think these uh, systems mean for job creation in Michigan? Is it, is it, I mean, are you run your own company? That's one of the, that's one of the, the biggest issues that, that I'm trying to come to terms with now is how do we, how do we make this, how do we make this make jobs? Um, obviously, we could start manufacturing some equipment here for this. Um, the DAVCO filters are already being made in, in here locally. or I, I know that they're designed in Saline, Michigan. I don't know where they're produced. Um, but they do have a lot of people working at their facility in their warehouse, in their R&D department, their engineers. Um, as far as uh, it, it, it helps the restaurant industry a lot, because they don't have any costs associated with their fryer other than purchasing the grease from the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, currently we do not have any, I don't have any employees. Um, I, have, um, I have some people that collect oil and we pay them cash for it so it helps float their boat. Um, but uh, at the end of the day it's really a, a service to business um, and a service to fleets that uh, in turn indirectly provides jobs because it frees up capital for them to uh, to cover payroll. Not only that, but it's an incredible benefit to the environment, I would think. Well, you have a, a plant growing in the ground like a soybean, sucking up carbon dioxide, and then uh, it, it's harvested, pressed into an oil, and then burned as a fuel. So the, the next generation of that plant is already sequestered, the, sequestering the carbon dioxide that the generation that you're burning is producing. Okay, so once again, the name of your business, and if anyone ever wanted to contact you to look into this? Uh, we're Diesel Works. We're in Ann Arbor. Our webpage is www.dieselworksa2.com, and that's Diesel Works A2 is in Ann Arbor. And um, we're also available at info at Diesel Works A2, and our phone number is 734-985-0807. Okay, thank you very much for your time. That was awesome.